Hey friend, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. In this one, I'm wearing the same outfit again. If you haven't caught it, I've just been shooting these on the same day. And so this one uh, is going to be released a few weeks probably after I shot the others and you've already seen them. But today's is not a lifesaver kind of Two Minute Tuesday tip. It's just a nice little thing that you can do for fun. And this is going to be how to wipe a color grade before and after. It's something small that I do uh, when I'm demonstrating my LUTs or when I just want to show someone uh, kind of something fun about this is what this footage looked like and then I color graded and here's what it looks like. You could impress some clients with this I'm sure and if you ever want to sell LUTs on your own this is a great way to do that. So I'm going to show you how I wipe a color grade on and off and it's really simple. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'll show you on this Two Minute Tuesday. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. All I'm gonna do is drag through this clip here and show you the most interesting part. I think it's right here. So I think this is where I'm gonna want the color grade white to happen because this is probably the most significant before and after. I may not be done color grading this image because I'm not done with this video yet, but I think the before and after is a big enough difference to show you what the wipe is going to look like. So all we have to do is duplicate this clip on top of itself. However you want to do that, I just hold the option key and drag the clip on top of itself. And now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to the color tab and we are going to reset that node grade. So we need to make sure that this didn't select that node. So we're gonna make sure that, that node gets selected, go back, and now it doesn't look like there's a color grade on there. So here's why. It's because what we've done is we have put this clip blank on top of itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop this blank clip out of the shot so that you're left with seeing this clip. But before that, because I'll show you what that looks like. So before we end up doing that, we're gonna add another layer, but I'll show you what this looks like. So if we do this, we add a crop, and then we go here, let's say about halfway through, we're gonna add another, and we're gonna crop this. When I play this back, this is one way of doing it, but what you get is just this little line here, and it really doesn't do a helpful job of showing the before and after because you can't really see the point where it's wiping. So that's one way of doing it, but what I prefer to do is add a solid color and then I change it to white and then I just make it with the crop, I just make it a really small bar. And so now that I've got this small bar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to add a position keyframe and put it just on the outside edge. And then at whatever speed I want this to happen, I'm going to crop it. And I've got a keyframe right here already, and that's the crop that I already did. So I'm going to just copy that. So I'm just gonna put a keyframe here. And by the end of that keyframe coming across, basically it has to be at the end of the frame. So I just went ahead and typed it in because I know the frame width is 3840. So now when you watch this, here's what this ends up looking like. We need to start at the very, very beginning. And now it looks as if the white bar is causing the white, but actually it's happening underneath that. And we're just making it look like the white bar is the white that's happening. There are a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but I find this to be the fastest, most effective way of seeing the difference in a before and after color grade. And I just love this trick. It's been so helpful for me, and I hope that it benefits you. So if it does, leave me a comment. Let me know about it. I love to hear from you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching another Two Minute Tuesday, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.